What is up, guys, ladies, and gentlemen of YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Victory Gaming Network. So, since I'm going to be talking about an Xbox-related topic, I decided to use some Hey OG Halo Reach gameplay because, you know, Xbox Halo, Halo, Xbox exclusive, you get the point. Anyway, so apparently Microsoft has officially decided to permanently turn their backs on the Kinect, which, to be quite frank, I agree. I think that's a good decision. The Kinect has been nothing but trouble ever since Microsoft has introduced it. Anyway, I will go ahead and read the article off for you guys right now, and I will have a link to it in the description below as well as in a comment uh, for you guys to check it out yourselves. Microsoft has seemingly taken another step toward permanently turning their back on the Kinect. Originally, the Kinect 2.0 motion sensor was going to be an essential part of the Xbox One, but Microsoft did a 180 after early negative reactions to the console. The Kinect has been getting the red-headed stepchild treatment ever since. In fact, the slimmed-down Xbox One S doesn't even have a Kinect port. That said, Microsoft has been offering USB adapters for free. All you had to do was register your Xbox One S and connect with Microsoft, and they'd send you a Kinect adapter. Well, that deal has officially come to an end. Now, if you want to use Kinect with your Xbox One S, you'll have to shell out for a Kinect adapter. And the accessory isn't exactly cheap. According to Microsoft's online store, the adapter costs $40, or nearly half the price of the Kinect itself. Last year, Microsoft said they'd start including the adapter with every Kinect sold, but according to reports from the field, that promise has not come true. If you were to buy a standalone Kinect for your Xbox One S today, it would come with a hidden $40 tax. Of course, Microsoft probably doesn't expect many people to buy a Kinect going forward. The best I can tell, only two Kinect games come out in 2016, the puzzle platformer Fru and Just Dance 2017. Oh, good God. Will any new Kinect games come out in 2017? Maybe another Just Dance, but I imagine that will be it. The fact that Microsoft is still selling the Kinect, at all, the Kinect adapter at all is honestly kind of surprising. So there you have it, guys. Apparently the Kinect will eventually and unavoidably become a... just eventually vanish. Let's, be, let's just be honest. Um, it'll become a part of the gaming, you know, history that no one wants to talk about and everyone wants to just forget that it ever existed. And as I said, I completely agree with Microsoft's decision to do so. The Kinect has been nothing but trouble for them ever since they've came out with it. I mean, ever since it's been released, it's been nothing but trouble. Nobody had ever wanted a Kinect. I mean, it was just horrible, uh, you know. And, you know, I remember when the Xbox One first came out, you know, when it was first released... Nobody wanted to connect, you know, they were just forced to buy it, um, you know, because the, it was bundled with the Xbox One, and originally you couldn't even use the Xbox One without the Kinect. So, I mean, it's just, it's been a bad deal all around on Microsoft's part with the Kinect, and I completely agree with their decision to do so. But anyway, what are your guys' thoughts on the Xbox One? What do you guys think of the Kinect? Do you guys think that this is a good idea on Microsoft's part, or no? Let me know down in the comments. As for the rest of this video, that is pretty much it. So, like I said, thank you, like always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, take care.